Oskino and and um, Meek Mill are back friends and buddy buddy again because of the simple fact of what happened with um, with Beans. Because he mad beans over there. Like, like Meek, when he bought, he felt like I helped you get in the game, which is cool. But here's the thing about that. See, I hate, I hate that thing. It's like, dude, I helped you get in the game, so, you know, you owe me. People do because they want to do. You know what I'm saying? You don't do with the notion of you're going to have to kick back to me later unless it's a business move. You know what I'm saying? So, if you, that person choose to help you or not, that just shows, like, okay, I helped you. You chose not to do nothing with me, so I just know the character of the person. But uh, they don't owe you. You know what I'm saying? That makes it phony. See, weak dudes think like that. You know, and feel a certain way about a guy. Like, man, you know what I'm saying? I felt he should have helped me, you know what I'm saying? I helped him out a lot of times. The thing about O is, O is a hustler, and when a hustle don't go your way, or it's what the people like to say, hustling backwards, you know what I'm saying? And you're hustling, but you're going nowhere. It's like you, you, you're running on a, a treadmill, and you you out hustling yourself. You're coming right back to the same point all the time. Anybody who's like, yeah, man, man, I had a roll, man, I had a Lamborghini, man, I had a Porsche, I had all that, and then they lose it all, and they come back, and you know what I'm saying, it ain't nothing, we hit the block, we get it back again, baby, it ain't nothing. You know, I mean, first off, the dude talked like he didn't did an eight ball before he even woke up. <laughs> he did an eight ball in his sleep, and woke up, hit another eight ball, and he just going off the top of the lid. You know what I'm saying, you don't say anything today, you know what I'm saying, I just got these albums, man, I'm slinging these songs, man, that's all I'm saying, man, I'm doing my iTunes, man, I got my emails, man, I just did an email for the first time in two weeks, man, I'm going on here, I'm rolling, baby, you know what I'm saying, I got to keep things moving, I don't care stay stagnated out here in this game, man, you know what I'm saying, we got to move on the mountains now, you know what I'm saying, that's what we do around here, man, man, ain't playing no games out here, me, you know what I'm saying, he doing this thing, man, I brought the dudes over when he was young, man, that's all we doing, man, you know, just like in Jersey, man, when I was broken, you know what I'm saying, kids looked out for me back all this stuff he keeps saying. This is why we don't talk like that. We talk at a very normal pace so people can understand us clearly everywhere around the world. People are like, man, y'all talk slow, man. You got to speed it up when you talk, man. I'm not just reaching to you. I know if you're in Jersey and Philly or somewhere, this might be irritating you because it's too slow. No problem. Speed it up or do whatever you have to do to make it sound like Oskino. Oskino, Oskino rather, talk in the format of how he raps. He raps fast. He talks fast. So when he rhymes, it bounces. It sounds nice. It sounds very nice. But most of his raps are aggressive diss raps. It's not a lot of variation in his rhymes. Now, braggadocious, in other words. Now, anyway, this guy and Meek had a falling out over miscommunication. Okay? And instead of reaching out, he decided to lash out on a, a interview or whatever, whatever. And by the time they got it all straightened out, Meek was already offended. So you had a relationship and a rapport with Meek, and you damaged it. Then he went back to to like, man, I'm sorry, it was my fault. I made a mistake, which is the manly thing to do. So him and Meek was cool. But they didn't deal with each other. So if Meek wanted to do something with this man, he could have done it a long time ago. They were already cool. He had a dude number and everything. So they had already patched things up. So now that that's said and done, which I ain't going to tell you everything he said, but basically he's saying everything that Beans is saying about Meek. Now, that's done. He felt like, man, you should have been holding the city down. You should have been doing that. You know what I'm saying? But now all of a sudden, me and what's his name? He see Benny Siegel with me. 
Now he's upset because he want to be in that position. Like, how did this happen? He texted him, man. This dude don't even mess with you. You know, that's what a hater does. Man, watch your back. That's all I'm saying. No, you not. All you saying is, why is he there and I'm not there? You see what I'm saying? You have to know how people operate. That's his hustle. I got to get back in position. How he get my spot? That should be my spot. I should be right there. You didn't put yourself right there. Don't get mad because another person didn't put themselves in that position. And you going to make calls. That, yeah, watch him, man. Yeah, yeah, watch your back. That's, that's hating. Sideline hating. You want to hate him out his spot so you can get the spot. And then when the situation with Meek and Beans happened, then Meek hit him up like, man, you was right. And he was like, it only took two days. Like, yeah, my hate only took two days. Now me and Meek, we back good now. Because he's like, I warned him. But who going to warn him about you? Who gonna want them about you though? Maybe he already know he gonna keep you at arm's distance coming through the door. So we'll see. But I wanted to make it clear. So this isn't a meat meal. This video is y'all gonna take it that way. But I just wanted to put some clarity to it so that you guys understand the situation as to why he is in the position he is right now. Somebody was like, man, you see Meek and uh, what's his name there? 